Okay, so this is part two. We're going to add some pictures. On this website that I'm going to link for you, I actually have all the pictures that you're going to need for this uh, podcast. If you want to go and find your own, please do, because these pictures are kind of tired and boring. So once you get to this website, if you want the picture, uh, there's the spotted towhee if you want. Uh, just right click on a picture. So here's a Grand Canyon picture and click on add image to iPhoto library. It'll open up iPhoto and it will import. So there it is for you. So I'm going to quit iPhoto. Once it's done that, it's really nice because in GarageBand, it will now show up at the bottom of your list. Uh, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it will show up. Sometimes you have to click off photos and go back to photos for it to show up. Um, anyways, I'm going to pick here. We're talking about Desert Bighorn Sheep, as you can hear from my podcast. And we enjoyed seeing a variety of wild animals. These des Okay, so right where it says uh, these... So where we want to put our bighorn sheep. There we go. I'm going to put the bighorn sheep in here. Now, it will actually stretch this out way, way further than you need it. So you can stretch it back. Or if I brought in another picture, for example, say I brought in another picture here like this, and I placed it exactly where I wanted it, it will overlap it and it will... Um, that'll help you uh, get your timing right. So now what will happen is when we hear about it, you'll see a little preview here. When we, we won't see anything at the beginning, but when we talk about the bighorn sheep, they will show up. During our trip to the Grand Canyon, we enjoyed seeing a variety of wild animals. These desert bighorn sheep were at the bottom of the canyon near our campsite. While this young male was at the very top of one of the overlooks. So that is how you add pictures. I want pictures to show up all the time from the very beginning to the very ending of your podcast. So you're going to maybe need to get a few pictures of uh, generic Grand Canyon pictures, but the timing needs to be bang on that when you talk about an animal, that animal's picture needs to show up. So, uh, some of the elements that I'm looking for, your overall use of the program of GarageBand, the clarity of your voice, it's sometimes difficult with a background noise, the use of music, and for a bonus, if you can find some sound effects to add, to layer on top of the music, I will give bonus marks for sound effects. Timing is very important with the music. It must be timed well. Your photos need to be synced and your audio transitions. And what I mean by audio transitions is just this fact that you have some, you have a speaking with music and then you have music in between some of your sections. So you can slice in between, say for example here, spotted toadies. In between each animal, you can put in a little bit of music. So for example, I'm gonna play this here. Ooh, from hikers. There's a natural break. I'm going to slice it right here with Command T. And then I'm going to slide it over. Oops, a little bit. There we go. Slide this section over. So we have a little bit of music break in between each of the sections. It would sound like this. We're fairly common, and many were rather pesky about seeking food from hikers. Spotted toadies. It's a nice way to transition in between. So good luck. Uh, find your pictures. Do your voiceovers. Put in sound effects. Put in music. And enjoy uh, working with GarageBand for the next two days. Have a good couple days, and I'll talk to you on Monday when I'm back at school.